Welcome to the Engaging Data Forum. Uh, my name is Carlo Ratti. I'm uh, one of the co-chairs and uh, uh, head of the Sensible City Lab here at MIT. So thank you for coming in this beautiful uh, Columbus Day uh, here at, in Boston. I know we got people from uh, all continents, actually, from Australia, Asia, just arrived over the weekend from uh, South America and uh, all of the Europe and all of the US. Uh, I'm just going to say a couple of words and then uh, we'll start uh, the conference. Um, well, uh, over the past couple of weeks, I went back to uh, Being Digital, the book by Nicolas Negroponte. It was published in 1995, almost 15 years ago. Uh, you know, sounds like a long, long time, but it was the beginning of the digital revolution. And um, Nicholas there um, mentioned a couple of things that turned out to be quite true about uh, bits. Um, and bits really being very permanent, and also bits being very searchable, easily searchable. And those two things have very profound consequences that probably we didn't expect, that we didn't imagine uh, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, and I'll make just a quick example. If you think about something that humanity has been doing for a long time, that's uh, uh, taking pictures. Well, when we used to take pictures uh, in the analog world, we take a picture, and this picture would be printed, it would end up in a drawer somewhere, and then little by little it would decay. Uh, not many people could look at it, could search it, maybe a grandmother, friends, and then that was fine, and you know, the whole thing would decay after a while and disappear. Well, now, um, we are taking a lot of pictures with uh, cameras and uh, uh, any type of devices and cell phones. And then a lot of these things end up on the internet, on databases, on Flickr, on uh, um, uh, Twitter, on Facebook. And then they are easily searchable. And something as benign, as simple as taking pictures, then is turning, is having very profound consequences. A very positive consequences that today, there's a few projects recently, some of them we'll see at the conference, that actually use pictures in order to describe the world almost in real time. We can like constantly scanning what's happening outside in the world by looking at all this amount of information that's been collected and shared on the internet. So we got like beautiful, incredible possibilities for social sciences, for geography, for describing space and understanding what's, what's happening. At the same time, something as benign as taking a picture, uh, for some people is turning into a nightmare. So if you are a picture with your mistress uh, and inadvertently and that goes on to Flickr, you're not very happy. Uh, you know, the Switzerland was the first country just a few months ago to actually ban um, Street View by Google uh, because they thought it was a violation, uh, invasion into privacy. And you know, and what is happening with pictures is happening with many other things. Uh, picture, I took this example because it's the most benign one, but all this increasing amount of data uh, is really across many fields. Uh, I think if we, we all know that if uh, we just had, uh, you know, we had uh, some of the different signatures that we leave every day when we make a call, when we send an email, when we take a picture and so on. I mean, all of my life in the past week could be reconstructed probably by the minute. And really, uh, so this is uh, uh, the theme of the conference, uh, is about uh, uh, how we can cope with this increasing amount of information that's radically changing many things we as humans have been dealing with, including uh, the fact that information decays, and uh, that's one of the crucial things uh, for adaptation and for uh, life, uh, the fact that we can actually overcome and little by little forget and change things. So um, I, databases are coming together, and in order to address this issue of how to manage the data, how to engage with data, uh, we thought we needed a new kind of uh, approach, not only a conference with academics, uh, but a conference like here where we got academics and people from the industry and from the privacy advocates and from the government uh, all together and uh, really spending a couple of days there's exciting papers, very exciting contributions uh, that you will see over the next couple of days to really start this conversation. It's probably more like a beginning. There's many possible ways we can uh, progress uh, and uh, really this is to discuss together uh, the way forward. I wanted to thank now um, Sandy Pentland and David Laser, um, the technical co-chairs who really did an incredible job in going through all the papers and helping uh, the whole committee, uh, AT&T who supported the conference, and uh, Asaf Biderman who's a joint director of the lab who's been one of the driving forces of the conference uh, together with Caitlin Zacharias and uh, Francisca Rojas and I'm going to pass it over to Asaf. Thank you.